a melanated queen, blonde as can be. She's a melanated queen, blonde as can, blonde as can be. this morning welcome back to a new video you guys today's video i'm so excited for because like yeah i'm going back to being blonde okay i missed it i missed her i missed who i would be with her and i got this wig this is the stock card the zuri six uh dream silk press human hair texture the style is in natural dream lace h and d1 and this is the color the color is so rt honey and this is what she looks like y'all i'm so excited for her she does come with like a little bit baby hairs in the front um it doesn't it's not like a full like it's not frontal wig it's a lace wig so it's just the lace is right here so <sighs> but before we get into all of that if you're new here hey baby hey boo hey congratulations on waking up this morning is your girl it's me it's me and we do Wait videos here, try and hauls, vlogging, whatever we want, we do it here. So if you like that kind of vibe, you like that kind of energy, and you watch this video and you're like, hold on, who is she? Then you should keep watching. And you should subscribe down below. And you should turn on your post notification. Every time I make a video because baby, we're coming with the content. Okay? Alright, so let's get into this video. So this wig has two combs here. It has one comb in the back and it has my favorite thing in life adjust the little strap that's actually like a strap not that little stupid like connection thingy no more weight companies need to get like this oh my goodness do y'all see how this blonde dressing <sighs> this way and then this is the lace party it's like six inches or so it's super deep and it's super great and i love it so in order to install this wig you're gonna need a couple of tools babes first you're gonna need your wig gel to lay it you're gonna need your lace tent spray this is the ebon lace lace tent spray and i get it in medium brown you're also going to need edge control i already laid my edges and an edge control brush and you're gonna need a a wig strap but to use it to tie down the lace and then you're gonna need scissors you're also gonna need old faithful a wonderful great hot comb so those are all the utensils that you need and let's let's try this on let's put this on before i put her on i'm gonna go ahead and spray the lace with the lace tint spray you can get this lace tint spray at your local beauty supply store you want to be generous but not too generous so oh you also need to shake this first Okay, and then once you take that, you want to go ahead and get y'all and just put it on the perimeters of your scalp. You want to take the comb and attach it. This lace tint spray is so amazing. Do you see how like it defined the part so well? And I had to do nothing. Okay, so you want to make sure like it's centered because it's a middle part wig. Oh my gosh! I'm so happy to be blonde again. She's a melanated queen, blonde as can be. She's a melanated queen, blonde as can, blonde as can be. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Y'all, being blonde, like, I love having black hair. Black hair is so cool, so dope. But something about being 
black being brown skin being dark skin with blonde hair just does something to my spirit it does something to my soul i understand beyonce and mary j blige like yeah they're light skin but besides that like i understand why they stuck with blonde they said blonde is gonna be my color and that's where we're sticking at and i just want more and more dark skin girls to get into color because girl girl color against melanin is the one not the two not the three not the four it's the one don't let these people fool you because do you see how popping color looks against melanated skin it's hot in here y'all that's why i'm sweating but like ugh, i'm so happy i'm so excited okay so i'm gonna go ahead and add a little bit more and then i'm gonna take a little bit more to the perimeters and then I'm gonna take my my waist strap and tie it tightly behind my head. Y'all, I'm trying to do this quickly because I'm running late for church. But I didn't want to install this wig and not film it for y'all because this wig is amazing. It's incredible. I've been looking for this wig for forever. All right, y'all. She's tied finally. My strap, the hair was getting in the way of my strap. Okay. She's down. And this is also a trick for if you didn't finish your hair in time and you have somewhere to go, girl. Complete your wig install, but throw your your hair, your headband on it, your headscarf on it, and make it a look like as you intended it to be. But you really didn't, because being a box girl is finding new ways to finesse society. <laughs> All right. So now I'm gonna cover that. Okay, I'll see you guys when I get back from church. All right, y'all, voiceover B here. Please ignore this absolutely atrocious thunderstorm sound outside. It's acting like the rain wants to come inside. It's super loud, I don't know what's going on. But anyways, to go ahead and install this wig, I made it back from church and we're gonna go ahead and cut the lace now. Um, I absolutely love this hair. I love this hair color. It's just so phenomenal. To cut the lace though, I like to do the three slit method, um, which is putting a slit on both sides and then a slit in the middle, which is what you guys see me do here. So I'm going side by side to cut it. You want to be really careful when you're doing this so you don't cut yourself and you don't cut, cut off any of your ha natural hair if your edges are still poking out or anything. As well as you don't want to cut off the like hair for the wig as well. Like You might cut off a little bit but you don't want to cut off too much. So that's what you guys are seeing me here. You want to do it carefully and slowly and do the best that you can and always go back in and clean it and do like slow steady like chips until you can no longer see like too much lace so you want to make sure you cannot see too much lace there's no way for you to not see any lace like it's a lace wig wigs have lace you're gonna see some type of lace but you don't want it to be like dang did you not finish the hair kind of a thing so get as much as you can and then the rest of it that's left over tell people to mind their business anyways
All right, y'all. So now that my lace is completely cut off, I'm going to take my hot comb and turn it on. I'm testing to see how hot it is. And I'm going to use that, like the heat from that, by pressing it down to like get my part to lay flatter. And just to comb through the hair a little bit, you know, give a little bit of a vum vum, a little sledge, a little, you know, light oh, work. But yeah, this is basically the ending portion of like what you have to do is the hot comb and then you're done and you just brush out your hair and you go about your day because now the world is ready for your sleigh. You go clean. Like all things in life, this hair has its pros and it also has its cons. So the pro is the color scheme, everything about it is absolutely amazing. The gradient, how they dyed it, the structure of it all is just absolutely stunning. 10 out of 10 recommend. Um, however, in regards to like the shedding, the... the tangling all of that of the hair it definitely tangles and it's it definitely gets matted very easily so you do always have to have a brush in hand on you to be able to get that through and to be able to get that done um but besides that it is a really nice wig you just have to keep brushing the ends and you have to deal with some shedding um but I would recommend it for an expensive wig. You can wear this for a couple of weeks. Um, since I change my hair frequently anyways, that's not a huge issue to me. But for someone else, it may be. So just keep that in mind. Um, but also remember, it's also a synthetic wig. So it's not human hair. It's going to shed. Even human hair sheds. So you just got to make do with what it do. It's very inexpensive. It's like It was like $35 or $38 or something like that. At my local beauty supply store, you probably find it online for cheaper or that same price range. But yeah, y'all. This hair does also come with a little tiny, tiny bit of baby hairs available. Um, so I was just going to try to lay some baby hairs down and to add a little bit of room to the wig. <sighs> you guys are going to see how that goes down. But, you know, if you do, if you're the type that like baby hair, I don't think baby hairs belong on all hairstyle types, but because it did have slight, slight amounts of baby hair is available I decided I was going to try to lay it and then I ended up taking up too much hair and trying to lay too much hair it became a mess but yeah it does come with like a little bit of baby hairs so for those of you who are part of the baby hair society and you know how to get it right get it tight you will love this you will definitely have a bald laying your edges
this is her i hope you guys enjoyed this video thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to comment like and subscribe i'll see you guys in my next one bye